Hello there guys, it's Cool Fox over here and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the Sadie's SA810 headphones. Now these are a pair of budget headphones coming in at around £20 which is a very reasonable price for the performance of these headphones and as you will see they are actually pretty impressing and uh, yes going through the sides it's actually a pretty bland box with the logo on all of the sides and some information on one of the sides as you can see right here it's just showing the design of the headset itself and on the back you can see that these actually have a 50 millimeter driver which is actually a very big driver for the price of these headphones A 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency range, a sensitivity of about 115 decibels, and an impedance of around 32 ohms. Now, opening the box, you will be first greeted with the headset itself. And yes, it's nothing fancy, it's just put inside a plastic bubble bag with all the other stuff inside as well. Now this is the manual as you can see right here and it's got some information about the headset itself, nothing too fancy, just a little bit of info. Now going through the headset itself, the volume unit is actually inside a little plastic bag protected in there and you also get this extension which goes from a normal 3.5mm cable to two 3.5mm jacks, one for the microphone and one for the sound. Now as you can see you just connect it like that. And yes it actually does seem of pretty high quality as you can see right here. And the cable is nicely braided with blue and black accents. As you can see this is the volume unit and the microphone on and off switch. Now I'm not a very big fan of this as there is a lot of space which is being used and it might drag on some other objects but apart from that as you can see it's actually pretty useful. Now going through the headset itself as you can see right here you do have these grills which make a nice addition to the unique style of this headset. And you can also see that you can adjust for your head size. There is a lot of cushioning around the headset itself and as you can see that is ample cushioning on the headband itself. And the ear cups also have a lot of cushioning which is very nice to see on a budget friendly headset. Now this is the microphone, it does not look very special but it's actually pretty good, you'll hear a mic test soon. And uh, yeah, it does have a fancy design on it which I'm not really fond of but it's still there for some people to enjoy. And apart from that the headband does not have any logos. Now this is a sound test so I will leave you to that. Now you'll be hearing a mic test and as you will see 
it will have both edited versions and non-edited versions. Okay, so now this is a test of the Sadie's SA810 headphones and as you can hear it's actually pretty good but I had to bump up the gain to about 100% and I had to normalize it from Audacity. I will show a picture of how um, it seemed before I normalized it and after so you'll have an idea of how it sounds. Okay, so now this is a test of the headphones plugged into the jack that separates the audio and the microphone into the two jacks and those are plugged into the Siba audio adapter which I usually usually use with my BM800 microphone and as you can see now it's actually set to 80% gain and I didn't even have to normalize it for the audio to become this clean and there is a lot less noise. Now also I forgot to show you how the on and off switch worked so as you can see right here if I turn it off If I turn it back on, you can obviously keep on hearing. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos every Friday. This was Cool Fox, and I'm out. Peace.